Good morning, all of you. Today I am going to deliver the lecture on green chemistry, nanochemistry, and introduction of polymer chemistry. Basically, these are the two topics which is uh, included in your textbook that is green, green chemistry and nanochemistry is a one topic, topic number 16 and chapter number 15 that is introduction of polymer chemistry. So according to CET exam, the green chemistry and nanochemistry is a minor topic. The major topic is introduction of polymer chemistry. So last uh, recent last five years, the new topic is introduced that is green chemistry and nanochemistry. Introduction of polymer chemistry is the old topic. So focus on introduction of polymer chemistry. So green chemistry and nanochemistry on this topic, only one or two questions may be asked. For introduction of polymer chemistry, so polymer chemistry is very important topic uh, for the CET exam as well as JE exam. So uh, two or two to three questions may be asked for, on the topic of introduction of polymer chemistry. So green chemistry and nanochemistry, only one questions they may be asked. Let us start the overview of this, uh, revise the concept of green chemistry. So let us see definition of green chemistry. What is mean by green chemistry? Green chemistry means it is a design of chemical products and process that are more environmental begin and reduce negative impacts to the human health and the environment. So we can green chemistry is a, such a chemistry that designs the chemical products and reactions which are environmental friendly, do not cause any harmful effect to the human health and the environment. So that is a green chemistry. So, yeah, uh, yeah, we reactions to manufacturing products, ma manufacture karana rao, jay kutla hi toxic asta ne, ki environmental pollution spread hita ne. So, uh, that reduces the pollution as well as to avoid the pollution. Then, next is a important concept is principle of green chemistry. So, they may ask the question that is, who invented the principle of green chemistry? So, in 1990s, after the Pollution Prevention Act in USA, USA uh, in USA, Environmental Protection Agency introduced introduced the term green chemistry. So EPA, that is Environmental Protection Ag Agency. So after the 1990s, he introduced the term green chemistry. And after that, eight years after the eight years. Before, in 1998, Anastas Paul and T. Warner John, they introduced the principles of green chemistry. So, principle of, who invented the principle of green chemistry? The answer is Paul Anastas. So, remember the, this point. Paul Anastas and T. Warner and John. So, who invented the principles of green chemistry? There are 12 principles of green chemistry, which is very important. So, 12 principles of green chemistry and engineering. First one is the best prevention. Second one is the atom economy. It is a very important principle, atom economy. So, they, uh, according to CET, other uh, principles are the theoretical principle. But atom economy is a numerical based principle. So, here you have numericals which are shakta. So, atom economy is very important principle. Then, less hazardous chemical synthesis. Designing safer products. Safer solvents and model auxiliary. Designing for energy efficiency. These also, according to CET point of view, these two principles are very uh, CET exam. They may ask the question on atom economy as well as designing for the energy efficiency. Other principles are theoretical principle. They ask the questions, but uh, they are theoretical. And atom economy is a numerical based principle. Then use of renewable feedstock. It is a seventh principle. Then reduce derivatives. Catalysis. Designing for degradation real-time analysis for the pollution prevention, 
and accident prevention let us see one by one the principles of green chemistry first one is of waste principle waste prevention so first principle is of waste prevention so it is a better to prevent waste rather than to treat or clean up the waste after it is formed so you can focus the chemical reactions or the manufacturing of the product that do not produce the best best means what it is a by product basically we can say that it is a by product if it is a h2 uh, gas is released h2 gas is released or during the chemical reaction methanol is released so that is a so that is a by product so we can focus the reaction or chemical reaction are designed in a such a way that they do not produce any waste and if waste is formed then you can treat the waste by using waste treatment plant so what is the role of waste treatment plant for waste treatment plant we can separate the toxic materials and then it is released in air so they do not cause that much pollution so waste prevention principle says that we can focus the reaction chemical reactions to form manufacturing of the product which do not produce any waste or any by product and if waste is a form then you can treat it by waste treatment plant so waste treatment plant clean up the waste but the main objective of this waste prevention principle is it is better to prevent waste than to treat or clean up the waste so it is a prevention is better than cure it is the tagline of this waste prevention this is the first principle so prevention is better than cure so tumhala cet madhe yacha varti question asa yeu shakto ki who say that or which principle says that prevention is better than cure so in the first principle that is waste prevention the it is a, uh, the tagline of this waste prevention is prevention is better than cure then second principle is atom economy it is very important principle because numericals are be, are as based on this atom economy principle synthesis me synthetic method should be designed to maximize the incorporations of all materials to use in the process into the final product so we can use the reactant for the formation of products if the all reactants are converted into the products so reactant is converted into the product all reactant is converted into the product that is a economical reaction economical reactions means yield is up to 82% according to green chemistry the 82% yield that is a all the reactants is converted into the final product or desired product not a waste product yacha madhe apan waste je by product tayar hote hai te consider nahi karnar ahot fakt je desired product ase main product ase te apan calculate karnar so desired product how you can calculate this uh, ratio so formula for the atom economy is molecular weight of desired product upon molecular weight of starting materials into 100 so this is a very important it is very important formula listen that atom economy is equal to molecular weight of desired product not a product it is a desired product desired product means what if any chemical reaction is there then there is a formation of if two products are formed one is by product one is major product so major product that can be considered and reactant sum of all the starting material je reactant sastil tachi sagreya molecular weight chi sum tumhi ithe ghenar aat ani molecular weight of desired product upon sum of starting material sum of molecular weight of starting material into 100 so it is the atom economy if this atom economy is up to the 72 to 82 percent that we can that then we can say that the reaction is a economical reaction it is atom economical reaction then next formula is the chemical yield that is percentage yield so percentage yield means what we can uh, take here the by product also as well as major product also so moles 
in gram product obtained and moles gram product possible means practical yield practical yield upon theoretical yield practical yield upon theoretical yield into 100 it is a formula for percentage yield percentage yield is a formula hai practical yield upon theoretical yield then atom efficiency atom efficiency atom efficiency is percent yield into the atom economy सो अपन एटम इफिशियंसी कैलक्युलेट कर फॉर्म्यूला है जो केमिकल इल्ड हा फॉर्म्यूला है तुम्हें कन्वर्ट करू शता प्रैक्टिकल इल्ड अपॉन थिटिकल इल्ड एटम इकोनॉमी फॉर्म्यूला है मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ डिजायर प्रोडक्ट अपॉन सम ऑफ मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल इन टू द हंड्रेड सो इत जो डिजायर प्रोडक्ट घर सपोज बाय प्रोडक्ट जारी तैयार तरी तुम्हें इतने डिजायर प्रोडक्ट यूज करना आज मॉलिक्युलर वेट कैल्क्युलेट करना आ and it's starting material used for that so it is a related to atom economy if atom economy and percentage yield are calculated then you can calculate the atom efficiency so atom atom efficiency means percent yield into the atom economy so atom economy means what basically this concept says that how much of the reactants remains in the final product काय इंडिकेट अमाउंट मध्य रिएक्टेंट ये फाइनल प्रोडक्ट मध्य रिमेनिंग इट डज नॉट अकाउंट फॉर सॉल्वेंट रिएजेंट रिएक्शन इंड एंड रिएक्टेंट मुलार एक्सेस सो तुम्हें मुलार एक्सेस मध्य जो रिएक्टेंट इन्क्रीज कर रोल नहीं है डज नॉट अकाउंट फॉर सॉल्वेंट एंड रिएजेंट सो सॉल्वेंट एंड रिएजेंट पन्सिडर करना नहीं फिर डिजाइड प्रोडक्ट और स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल so this formula is very important for the according to, uh, for the cet exam then it is next effective mass yield it is also important product divided by hazardous reagent product in kilogram and hazardous reagent in kilogram into the 100 then next is a e factor so e factor is important how you can calculate the e factor टोटल वेस्ट अपॉन प्रोडक्ट सो तुम्हारा एखाद केमिकल रिएक्शन दी तो टोटल वेस्ट कि तैयार है प्रोडक्ट कि सोन तुम्हें कैलक्युलेट करू शता वॉट इज ई फैक्टर टिपिकल स्प्रिट इन टू द टू सब कैटेगरीज ऑर्गैनिक एंड एक्वीएस वेस्ट सो ऑर्गैनिक वेस्ट पू शता एक्वीएस वेस्ट पू शो नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज थर्ड प्रिंसिपल दैट इज whenever practicable synthetic methodology should be designed to use the generate substance that possesses a little or no toxicity to human health and the environment so apan je chemical synthesis kiwa synthesis product design karnar aho chemical reaction that should not produce little or no toxicity so ya madhe toxicity asta ne ase products apan design karnar aho je products tayar hotil that product should not be toxic to the human health as well as environment so it is a less hazardous chemical reactant reactant pan toxic uh, reactant should not be toxic as well as product should not be toxic so this principle it is a third principle of green chemistry then chemical chemical product fourth principle is chemical product should be designed to preserve the efficiency of the function to reducing the toxicity so both principle are same we can reduce the toxicity next principle is the use of auxiliary substance solvent separation agent should be necessary unnecessary whenever possible and when used it is inoper so apan yacha madhe je solvent use karto jeva solvent tumhi benzene as a solvent vaprat asal benzene सो बेन्जीन वपरत दुसर ऑप्शन मिथेनॉल सो मोर कार्सिनोजेनिक सॉल्वेंट इज अ बेन्जीन एज कम्पेर टू मिथेनॉल सो वी कैन यूज हियर बेन्जीन एज अ सॉल्वेंट एज कम्पेर टू मिथेनॉल सो वेन एवर देर इज अ ऑप्शन फॉर 
for methanol as well as water then we can choose the water as a solvent because it is a ready easily available solvent and it is a economical solvent cheapest solvent water is a cheapest solvent so we can uh, our reaction is also economical so tumhi asa solvent choose karu shakta ki je economical economical asel easily available and if possible we can carry the reaction in solid state आपण जर पॉसिबल असेल तर तीच रिएक्शन आपण सॉलिड स्टेट मध्ये पण करू शकतो विदाउट बाय विदाउट युजिंग द सॉल्वंट सो वेन एव्हर पॉसिबल वी कॅनॉट यूज द सॉल्वंट वी डू नॉट यूज द सॉल्वंट अँड इफ इट इज यूज देन इट इज नॉट अ टॉक्सिन ऑर इट इज नॉट अ कार्सिनोजेनिक सो बेन्झिन इज अ कार्सिनोजेनिक सॉल्वंट कार कार्सिनोजेनिक मीन्स इट प्रोड्यूस द कॅन्सर so cancer produces solvent is a harmful to the human health also as well as environment so we cannot use the benzene as a solvent for the reaction if benzene is used then it is not a green chemistry it is a chemistry so green chemistry under tumhala jar ekhadi reaction karaychi ase tar tumhi tithe benzene use karu shakat nahi we can use the water as a solvent or methanol ethanol any other options but benzene is a carcinogenic solvent next is a energy requirement should be recognized to their environmental and economical impacts and should be minimized synthetic method should be conducted at ambient temperature and pressure so ja sagya chemicals reactions asta tyachyamadhe temperature and pressure condition aplyala uh, फुलफिल करावी लागते तरच ती रिएक्शन होते सो आपण जेव्हा पॉसिबल असेल वेन एव्हर इट इज पॉसिबल वी कॅन यूज द वी कॅन कॅरी द रिएक्शन ॲट रूम टेम्परेचर फर्स्ट वी कॅन प्रेफर टू द रूम टेम्परेचर रिएक्शन देन वी कॅन गो फॉर द फर्दर टेम्परेचर सो इफ इट इज इट इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट एनर्जी रिक्वायरमेंट ऑल्सो द सो इन दॅट सिक्स प्रिन्सिपल we can use the microwave reaction so uh, for the traditional route for the traditional route if any uh, nitration of benzene nitration of benzene or formation of nitration of meta dinitro benzene so we can uh, for the meta dinitro benzene the reaction in traditional route we required 2 hours hours and for the microwave reaction we required only the 5 minutes microwave so we can choose here the microwave as a modern route that is green route two hours required for the traditional route and for the green route it is a green route we required only the 5 minutes so 5 minutes here is a lots of energy conservation एनर्जी कन्झर्वेशन दिस प्रिन्सिपल इन द सिक्स प्रिन्सिपल त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्ही जर मायक्रोवेव्ह यूज केला तर फक्त पाच मिनिट्स लागतील आणि जर तुम्ही ट्रॅडिशनल रूट वापरला तर टू हवर्स लागतात सो बेसिकली वी कॅन चूज द ग्रीन रूट नेक्स्ट इज अ रॉ मटेरियल ऑर फिड स्टॉक शुड बी रिन्युएबल rather than depleting whenever technically and economically practical so raw material je apan use karnar ahot te je store karun thevu shakat nahi jithe possible asel tya tya vel te apan according to need we can use the raw material then unnecessary derivatizations protection deprotection temporary modification physical and chemical process should be avoided whenever possible so uh, we can uh, design the chemical reaction in a such a way that there is a avoid uh, unnecessary derivatizations and protections as well as deprotection of the groups so we can protect the group that is for the uh, for example nh2 group is protected so nh2 group is protected by using any reagent for the reduction purpose if nh2 group is not protected it converted into the nitro group so that's why 
we can protect the group so whenever possible we can uh, avoid this type of unnecessary protection as well as de protection next is the catalytic reagents are superior to the stoichiometric reagents as selective as possible so we can use the catalyst green chemistry says that green green root says that we can use the catalytic reagent catalysts are very important because catalyst speed up the reactions catalyst increase the rate of reaction or it may be the decrease the rate of reaction so it is a very important catalyst are the catalyst plays the important role in chemical reaction so catalytic reagents is very useful they are selective as possible and stoichiometric reagent stoichiometric reagent means reaction is a one is to one that is the stoichiometry of that reaction so you select the catalyst according to that basis then chemical products would be designed so that at the end of their function they do not persist in the environment and instead break down into the innocuous degradation product <coughs> so chemical products would be designed so that at the end of the their function they do not persist in the environment jeva apan ekhara product design karu tyacha punha environment madhe spread hota nahi kiwa it be a degradation product तैयार होता नहीं एखाद तुम्हें प्रोडक्ट बनवला दुसर बाय प्रोडक्ट कि डिग्रीडेशन हो इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू दो ए इज अ युअर मेजर प्रोडक्ट एंड इट कन्वर्टेड इन टू दी इन एंड सी सो इट इज अ डिग्रीडेशन ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट सो डिग्रीडेशन डू नॉट बी ऑकर इन द reaction next principle uh, it is analytical methodologies need to further develop to allow for the real time in process monitoring and control a prior to the formation of hazardous substance so we can control the we can control the hazardous substance formation so it is a in this principle says in 11 principle we control the formation of hazardous substance then 12 principle says that substance at and the formation form of substance using chemical process should be cho chosen so as to minimize the potential for the chemical accident including release explosion and fire so je apan substance vaparta tacha apan store karun store karun thevu shakat nahi kiwa te potential asave minimize the potential that chemical avoid the chemical accident and including release and explosion and fire so these are the 12 principle of green chemistry then next point is a nano chemistry next chapter is a it is a sub chapter of that green chemistry nano chemistry so important is a for the cet point of view this point is important that is classification of nano materials classification of nano materials that is zero dimension one dimension टू डायमेन्शन एंड थ्री डायमेन्शन तो तुम्हारा ऑप्शन लियरी बेस्ड थेटिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच नैनो मटेरियल इज अ वन डायमेन्शन सो दे मे आस नैनोडिज नैनोलेयर फुलेरिन एंड नैनो ट्यूब सो ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नैनो ट्यूब सो नैनो ट्यूब इज अ वन डायमेन्शन सो यू यू कैन क्लासिफाई द जीरो डायमेन्शन वन डायमेन्शन टू डायमेन्शन एंड थ्री डायमेन्शन सो remember the examples of that zero dimension contain fullerene quantum dots rings and atomic cluster one dimension nano tube fibers and filaments whiskers and belt spiral and spring then nano disc and nano layers any other examples are there so uh, select the example for the zero dimension one dimension two dimension and three dimension it is a classification of nano material next point is characteristics features of nano particles so color surface area catalytic activity thermal properties mechanical strength and electrical conductivity 
सो या पॉइंट वर तुम्हारा लास्ट लास्ट इयर लाइक क्वेश्चन विचार होता एम एच सी टी टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी टू मध्य ज्यादा तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन विचार होता विच ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ नैनो पार्टिकल इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर इफेक्टिव केमिकल रिएक्शन केमिकल रिएक्शन इफेक्टिव प्रॉपर्टी है नैनो पार्टिकल्स की ज्यादा इफेक्टिव केमिकल रिएक्शन होता सो दैट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट इज सरफेस एरिया इफ द सरफेस एरिया इज स्मॉल देन रिएक्शन विल बी इजीली हैपन सो हियर सरफेस एरिया दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सरफेस एरिया तो सरफेस एरिया जेवड़ा मैक्सिमम असेल तेवड़ी रिएक्शन जास्त इफेक्टिव वे ने हो सरफेस एरिया इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट अदर प्रॉपर्टी आर ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट बट मे आज द क्वेश्चन लास्ट सी टी एक्जाम दैट इज एम एस सी टी एक्जाम टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी टू दे आज द क्वेश्चन ऑन बेसिक पर्टिक्युलरली दिस पॉइंट दैट इज सरफेस एरिया सो नैनो पार्टिकल सरफेस एरिया जेवड़ा मैक्सिमम अल तेवड़ी केमिकल रिएक्शन इफेक्टिव हो नेक्स्ट इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट पॉइंट दैट इज टेक्निक्स यूज फॉर द एनालिस ऑफ नैनो पार्टिकल्स सो दीज आर द टेक्निक्स वी कैन यूज फॉर द एनालिस ऑफ नैनो पार्टिकल्स यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी यू वी विजिबल मीन्स अल्ट्रा वॉयलेट विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो दीज आर द स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक टेक्निक देन एक्सरे डिफ्रैक्शन स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रो माइक्रोस्कोपी दैट इज एस ई एम रिमेम्बर द शॉर्ट फॉर्म बिकॉज दे they do not ask the full uh, full question they are uh, give the option like as like this scm uv then x-ray then ftir so ftir means what it is a fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so you can remember the short form of this uv visible x-ray scm means scanning electro microscopy and fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so nano material madhe tumhala characteristic features ani classification of nano materials ya don slide khub important ahet ja vati tumhala questions vicharlele ahet green chemistry madhe atom economy ani ekhada theoretical principle vicharu shakta so atom economy प्रॉब्लेम विचार नेक्स्ट इज अ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पॉलिमर केमिस्ट्री सो इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पॉलिमर केमिस्ट्री तुम्हाला क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पॉलिमर्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पॉलिमर्स इन दैट बेस्ड ऑन सोर्सेस natural polymers synthetic polymers semi synthetic polymers so remember this example because they asked the question in last 2 to 3 years questions are asked which of the following is a natural polymers which of the following is a synthetic polymers and which of the following following is a semi synthetic polymer so remember the example of this natural polymers means what first you can see that what is mean by polymer polymer means what the monomer units are combined together they are polymerized together to form polymer polymer is a not micro molecule it is a macro molecule macro molecule so polymers the classification of polymers that is based on sources they are obtained from the plant or obtained from the animal sources then you can it is say that natural polymer silk is a example of natural polymers cotton that is cellulose cellulose is also natural polymer silk is a example of natural polymers which is obtained from animal so it is a example in the cet 2018 they asked the question which of the following is a polymer which is obtained from animal and they give the option that is nylon teflon bakelite and silk so silk is a answer of this question then synthetic polymer synthetic polymers means these polymers is a 
कम्प्लिटली सिंथेसाइज इन द लैबोरेटरी सो लैबोरेटरी मध्य सिंथेटिक के सीन्थेटिक पॉलिमर मन तो केमिकल हाँ मैन्युफैक्चर करते केमिकल मॉडिफिकेस ऑफ मोनो मोनोमर कन्वर्टेड इन टू द सीन्थेटिक पॉलिमर नाइलॉन टैक्लॉन एंड बैकेलाइट सो बैकेलाइट इज अ नेटवर्क पॉलिमर नेटवर्क पॉलिमर अजुन प्लासिफिकेशन है अकॉर्डिंग टू स्ट्रक्चर दे कैन क्लासिफाइड इन डिफरंट वे सो इट इज अ बेस्ड ऑन सोर्सेस नेक्स्ट सेमी सीन्थेटिक पॉलिमर सेमी सीन्थेटिक पॉलिमर मध्य सो सेल्युलोज इज एक्साम्पल ऑफ सेमी सेल्युलोज नाइट्रेट इज एक्साम्पल ऑफ सेमी सीन्थेटिक पॉलिमर बट सेल्युलोज ओनली सेल्युलोज इज एक्साम्पल ऑफ नैचरल पॉलिमर सो नैचरल पॉलिमर एंड सेमी सीन्थेटिक सेल्युलोज नाइट्रेट इज अनदर एक्साम्पल सेल्युलोज इज अनदर एक्साम्पल बोथ क्लास आर डिफरंट सेमी सीन्थेटिक मीन्स वॉट यर नैचरली पॉलिमर्स आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू सीम्पली मॉडिफाइड बाय द केमिकल्स केमिकल से मॉडिफिकेशन कर नैचरल पॉलिमर्स इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द सेमी सीन्थेटिक पॉलिमर सो हे नावन तुम्हारा कहे एसिटेट रेयन एसिटेट रेयन मध्य एसिटेट इज अ केमिकल रेयन इज अ पॉलिमर सो नैचरल पॉलिमर सो एसिटाइजेशन रिएक्शन दट इज एसिटेट रेयन देन सेल्युलोज नाइट्रेट सो नाइट्रेशन ऑफ सेल्युलोज दैट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द सेल्युलोज नाइट्रेट so it is a example of semi synthetic polymer means natural polymers are chemically modified naturally for natural polymers plus chemical modification that is semi uh, semi synthetic polymer तो यहाँ तुम्हारा हा क्वेश्चन विचार है कि क्लास ऑफ द पॉलिमर देन बेस्ड ऑन द स्ट्रक्चर सो इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट दैट इज लिनियर बेस्ड ऑन स्ट्रक्चर दीज पॉलिमर्स आर क्लासिफाइड एज अ लिनियर पॉलिमर ब्रांच एंड पॉलिमर क्रॉस लिंक पॉलिमर पीवीसी मीन्स पॉलिफिनाइल क्लोराइड एच then ldp high density polymer low density polymer cross link polymer that is bakelite then based on intermolecular forces that is elastomers fibers thermoplastic polymers and thermosetting polymer so neoprene is a example of elastomer so in uh, cet 2017 they asked the question that is which of the following is a elastomer that is neoprene is a example of elastomers so it is a based on intermolecular forces intermolecular force means within two different molecules there is a intermolecular force there are two forces intramolecular and intermolecular so intramolecular means within the molecule and intermolecular means within two different molecules एकाच मॉलिक्यूल मध्ये जर फोर्स असेल फोर्स ऑफ अट्रॅक्शन असेल दॅट इज अ इंट्रामॉलिक्युलर विद इन द मॉलिक्यूल अँड इंटरमॉलिक्युलर फोर्स मीन्स विद इन टू डिफरंट मॉलिक्यूल सो बेस्ड ऑन स्ट्रक्चर इट इज लिनियर पॉलिमर ब्रांच चेन अँड क्रॉस चेन यू कॅन रिमेंबर द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ दिस बिकॉज दे आज द क्वेश्चन इट इज अ व्हेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोविंग इज अ ब्रांच चेन पॉलिमर which of the following is a cross link polymer then fibers nylon 66 is a fibers then thermoplastic polymer that is polythene ethene is converted into the polythene many units of ethenes are converted are polymerized to form polythene then thermosetting polymers that is bakelite so bakelite is a cross link polymer also thermosetting तेच रिपीटेड एक्झाम्पल कुठे झाले तुम्ही बघू शकता सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर बॅकेलाइट इज अ सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर क्रॉस लिंक पॉलिमर ऍज वेल ऍज इट इज अ थर्मोसेटिंग पॉलिमर देन बेस्ड ऑन मोड ऑफ पॉलिमरायझेशन सो इट इज अ हाऊ यू कॅन पॉलिमरायज द पॉलिमरायझेशन रिएक्शन हाऊ यू कॅन पॉलिमर फॉर्म दॅट इज based on mode of polymerization that is addition reaction condensation ring opening reaction 
addition reaction polythene is the example of addition then condensation bakelite so bakelite again here it is a bakelite that is condensation reaction then ring opening reaction that is nylon 6 then homopolymers homopolymers means what polythene is a example of homopolymers so they may ask the question which of the following is a homopolymer homopolymer means similar units is repeated similar units is repeated then it is a homopolymer or only the one monomer is used one similar uh, monomer is used that is a homopolymer heteropolymers means it contain different monomer unit two different monomer unit then biodegradable polymers this is also important which of the following is a biodegradable polymers biodegradable means what the these polymers are degradable by the biological sources it may be the bacteria so bacteria can be degradable uh, degraded these polymers hence it is called as biodegradable polymers then non biodegradable polymers that is pvc polyphenyl chloride means pvc next some important polymers tumhala ya topic madhe lakshat thevna sathi je structures ahet te important ahe ja madhe monomer che unit lakshat rahila tar tumhi polymer easily liu shakta so monomer you can remember the monomer for the rubber monomer is a iso isoprene so they can ask the question very straight forward question for this polymer unit which of the following is a monomer for rubber so uh, in uh, uh, last cet exam they asked the question that is which of the following is a monomer of rubber and they uh, give the option that is chloroprene adipic acid e caprolactam and isoprene so example of this question uh, answer of this question is isoprene isoprene is a monomer of the natural rubber so apan natural rubber use karto tacha monomer unit ahe isoprene isoprene unit is a repeatedly polymerized to form rubber then these are the important natural rubbers that is a synthetic rubber natural rubber so isoprene is a monomer then synthetic rubber means what they are chemically synthesized so buna as neoprene and buna n remember the styrene and mono butadiene that is monomer of this buna as chloroprene is a uh, monomer of neoprene then acronitrile uh, acronitrile and butadiene is a monomer of buna n then polythene polythene are classified as a ldp and hdp so ldp means low density polymer and hdp means high density polymer also important is a in last exam they asked the question on this topic that is nylon 66 nylon 66 adipic acid and glycine it is a degradable biodegradable polymer it is also characteristics of that nylon 66 biodegradable polymer and adipic acid is a example of this it is a monomer for the nylon 66 e caprolactam is a monomer of nylon 6 so you can remember the monomer of this polymerization unit it is a network polymers as we already say that it is a cross network that is structure of bakelite तुम्हारा का स्ट्रक्चर विचार नहीं है फिर विचार ज्यादा विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिम सो तुम्हें कॉमन जो है कॉमन काउंट करा ज्यादा बैकेलाइट है ना परत पर सो क्रॉसलिंग इट इज अंथेटिक पॉलिमर क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिमर देन बैकेलाइट इज अ कंडेन्सेशन पॉलिमर एंड इट इज अ नेटवर्क पॉलिमर सो दिस इज अंड ऑल्सो फिनॉल एंड फॉर्मालिहाइड इज अ monomer of the bakelite then teflon is also important so cet uh, cet exam sathi tumhala teflon bakelite phbv and nylon 6 nylon 66 and nylon 2 and nylon 6 ya point varti tumhala repeatedly questions ahet one or two questions they may ask on this 
topic okay now we can uh, start the cet questions any doubt regarding that concept concept of introduction of polymer chemistry green chemistry and nano materials any doubt you can ask let us start a cet crash course that is cet exam uh, the questions of that cet questions are asked on that green chemistry nano chemistry and introduction of polymer chemistry so uh, these three to three topics are basically theoretical based so it is a theoretically the questions may be asked on also theory basis so first question is chemical pure chemically pure cotton is so it is a cotton ata tumhi example bagitle mi tumhala je sangitle je classification ahe polymers se classification so tacha varun tumhala tacha questions vicharlele ahe chemically pure cotton is acetate rayon विस्कोज रेया सेल्युलोज नाइट्रेट एंड सेल्युलोज सो हे केमिकली प्युअर कॉटन दैट इज ए आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेल्युलोज सेल्युलोज इज अ केमिकली प्युअर कॉटन दैट इज अ cellulose cellulose nitrate is a semi synthetic polymer and cellulose is a pure cotton so it is a difference cellulose nitrate is a semi synthetic because there is a cellulose also as well as nitrate so it is a semi synthetic other options are they are chemical bases so your confusion is cellulose nitrate and cellulose but pure cotton as question is a pure cotton so cellulose is a correct answer because cellulose nitrate there is a nitrate hence it is not a chemically natural natural polymer chemically pure means it is a natural polymer so answer is cellulose then silk is a kind of dash dash fiber so it is a animal fiber silk is obtained from silk worm hence it is a animal fiber then which of the following is a naturally occurring polymer so here teflon polythene pvc all these are synthetic polymer teflon is also synthetic pvc is also synthetic polythene is also polyethylene is also synthetic polymer so naturally occurring polymers is a protein protein is a example of naturally occurring polymer so this is a in this way you can solve the questions so here uh, in this slide we can uh, mix the both uh, three topics so three topics ke je questions ahe te ha eka slide madhe uh, one by one ni combine kelele ahet ekhada question sa green chemistry var asel ekhada question ha polymer varti asel kiwa ek asel to nano materials varti कारण ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री आणि नॅनो मटेरियल्स हा कंबाइन टॉपिक तुमच्या सिलेबस मध्ये आहे मी याच्यामध्ये ऍडिशन केला आहे तो इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पॉलिमर केमिस्ट्री देन व्हॉट इज द स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल फॉर द नायलॉन 66 तुम्ही आता बघितलं असेल नायलॉन 66 साठी आपण मोनोमर लक्षात ठेवा स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल मीन्स व्हॉट मोनोमर सो एडिपिक ऍसिड इज अ मोनोमर फॉर द एडिपिक ऍसिड इज अ मोनोमर फॉर द नायलॉन 66 इम्पॉर्टंट जे टॉपिक्स आहेत ज्याच्यामध्ये तुम्ही इम्पॉर्टंट जे पॉलिमर्स आहेत सो इम्पॉर्टंट पॉलिमर्स आर नायलॉन सिक्स सिक्स नायलॉन सिक्स बॅकेलाइट पॉलिथिन अँड पीबीसी सो यावरती बेसिकली क्वेश्चन विचारले जातात सो ह्या पॉलिमर बद्दल जी जी इम्पॉर्टंट क्वेश्चन इम्पॉर्टंट इन्फॉर्मेशन दिलेली आहेत त्याची डेन्सिटी किंवा त्याचा मोनोमर स्ट्रक्चर then uh, reactions of this you can remember first you can remember the source source of this they are natural polymers or synthetic polymers or semi synthetic then structure then how you can uh, 
for condensation reaction, how they form addition reaction, condensation, or ring opening. So nylon six is a ring opening reaction. They are formed by the ring opening reaction. Bakelite is a condensation and cross ring polymer. So adipic acid is the starting material for nylon six six. Then the green synthesis method should have low efficiency, high harmful products, low energy requirements, and low atom efficiency. So, we should green chemistry just in uh, principles. Forget that. I am going to tell you that low efficiency means what? Low yield. Low yield is a not principle of green chemistry. Green chemistry is a good thing. I am going to tell you that low yield, yield, come in middle of the efficiency more as the price of the green root as the price. So, green root means what? Green root means so green root uh, that contains more efficient product, but uh, it should not be toxic to the environment. So low efficiency is a not principle of green chemistry. High harmful product. Green chemistry always say that less harmful product products product should be less toxic or do not toxic. So it is not also principle of green chemistry. Low atom efficiency. Atom economy is a more. That is the prin second principle of green chemistry. So it is also wrong. So correct option is low energy requirement. I have already talked about the green pr chemistry principle in which I have given the example. That is microwave synthesis. So microwave synthesis uh, says that one reaction required one hour or two hour. And in microwave reaction, it can be happen only within the five minutes. So green reaction is what? It is a five minute reaction. So we can save the energy. That's why it is a microwave reactions are the green reactions. That is low energy required. Next is the in green synthetic methods, the high quality product with no dash dash are produced. So good products. No mental, so it's a no. I am going to tell you that good products they can produce good products. Catalysts are very important. Catalysts are also catalysts are used in green reactions. Reaction product products the form was the same. The reaction important ah hai. So contamination is an correct option. So contamination is the correct option because it do not green reaction do not produce the contamination. Contaminations are do not produce in the green synthetic methods. So this is important question. Calculate the atom economy for the acid hydrolysis of methyl acetate. अगर तुम यहाँ लाइक थोड़ा atom economy calculate करना कराया चाहिए। So atom economy how you can calculate the atom economy? So atom economy atom economy is equal to Molecular weight of desired product, molecular weight of desired product divided by molecular weight of all reactant. Molecular weight of desired product into molecular upon molecular weight of all reactant into hundred. So, how the formula is? Here, when you have molecular weight calculate, करने रहा तो जैसे ये पहला है काय कराएं जाए है एक हरी रिएक्शन दिले लिया से पंटा सेटी रिएक्शन यहाँ जो हक क्वेश्चन आ है तब अभी तुम्हारा रिएक्शन दिले ली नहीं है सो फर्स्ट यू कैन जस्ट द रिएक्शन दैट इज एसिड हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ मिथिल एसिटेट सो फॉर यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मिथिल एसिटेट प्रत्येक में मिथिल that is reaction is methyl acetate is converted into the is acid hydrolysis. So here acid is used, aqueous acid at 25 degree Celsius. There is a formation of ethanoic acid and methanol. So here methanol is not desired product. It is a byproduct. It is a waste, waste product. So we can only calculate the desired product. Formula that we carry that molecular weight of desired product. Upon molecular weight of reactant into hundred. 
तो अपन इधर मॉलिक्युलर वेट कैलकुलेट करना था मिथाल एसिटेट नंबर ऑफ फर्स्ट यू कैन राइट द मॉलिक्युलर फॉर्मूला C C3 H six and O2 C3 H six O2 by C six because here it is a CH3 here also CH3 so CH3 CH3 means C six C three put on a letter one C two C and three C so C three H six O two is a molecular formula of methyl acetate. Then calculate the molecular weight. So calculate molecular weight. Twelve into three. Then it is a molecular uh, molecular mass multiply by its atom into one into six plus sixteen into two. Thirty-six plus six plus thirty-two. The answer of this uh, question that is uh, sum of this all the reactant. अत तो मैं reactant use करता ना methyl acetate पन वापर ना रहा था ना HCl पन वापर ना रहा. फक्त जब products को calculate करना रहा. तब भी फक्त एक ही cell that is ethanoic acid. We can do not calculate the molecular weight of methanol because it is by product. It is not a desired product. It is a waste product. तो हे जे आहे मिथेनॉल ते बेस्ट प्रोडक्ट आहे तुम्ही डिझायर्ड प्रोडक्टस फक्त मॉलिक्युलर वेट कॅल्क्युलेट करणार सो नेक्स्ट आंसर ऑफ द राइट आंसर कॅल्क्युलेट दिस 36 प्लस 6 प्लस 32 दैट इज 74 देन इथेनॉइक एसिड इथेनॉइक एसिड हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ इथेनॉइक एसिड दैट इज हियर आल्सो मिथिल एसिटेट एज वेल एज फॉर एचसीएल एचसीएल द मॉलिक्युलर वेट इज 35.5 दैट इज द क्लोरीन एटॉमिक वेट प्लस 1 एटॉमिक मास प्लस 35.5 प्लस 1 हेंस इट इज 36.5 नाउ सम ऑफ दिस टू 74 प्लस 36.5, 74 plus 36.5. Then calculate the molecular weight of ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is the molecular weight. Calculate करने से तो माला CH3 means C C C2 H4 and O2. Then you can calculate the molecular weight of this ethanoic acid and then Calculate the atom efficiency. That is one one zero. Here it is a one one zero. So thirty six point five, sixty and seventy four. So if you have to calculate the atom, near about. If you have to product the product to calculate molecular weight, you have to calculate the product to molecular weight. मॉलिक्युलर फॉर्म्युला वरून तुम्ही मॉलिक्युलर वेट कॅल्क्युलेट करणार सो 60 डिवाइडेड बाय 110.5 पॉइंट कॅल्क्युलेट करू शकता इन 200 सो हे जे आंसर येईल ते 54.54 54.54% सो दिस इज अ आंसर तुम्हाला फक्त इथे लक्षात काय ठेवायचं आहे तर मॉलिक्युलर वेट कॅल्क्युलेट करता आलं पाहिजे आणि जे बाय प्रोडक्ट आहे त्याचं वेट कॅल्क्युलेट करायचं नाही आहे सो जे बाय प्रोडक्ट असेल ते इग्नोर करायचं आहे फक्त तुम्ही मेजर प्रोडक्टचं वेट कॅल्क्युलेट करणार सो याच टाईपचे ह्या ज्या दोन रिॲक्शन आहेत ज्यामध्ये सी एच थ्री बी आर के सी एन सी एच थ्री सी एन गिव्हिंग राईस टू सी एच थ्री सी एन अँड के बी आर देन सॅलिसिलिक ऍसिड अँड ऍसिड क्लोराईड यू कॅन सॉल्व्ह दिस टू यू कॅन टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ दिस स्लाईड अँड solve these two two reactions and by using that chemical molecular weight you can calculate the atom economy for this reaction yajavarti tumhala ek ek kiwa don questions vicharu shaktat atom economy varti so atom economy varti tumhala ha question sail ki ekhadi chemical reaction dili jail tya chemical reaction varun tumhala tansa atom economy calculate karaychhe so atom 
you can calculate atom economy by using the molecular weight of desired product divided by molecular weight of reactant all the reactants into 100 so you can take the screenshot of this and solve the this type of two reactions tumhi ha don reactions new new that's a molecular weight calculate kara and tumhala solve karte ka baka solve karte ye molecular weight varun tumhi atom economy calculate karu shakta then next is a which of the following is an example of semi synthetic polymer तो हा क्वेश्चन तुम्हारा गे वर्षी सीईटी एक्जाम मध्य विचार होता विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एक्साम्पल ऑफ सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर तो सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर दैट इज लिवेन इज अ नैचुरल पॉलिमर मिओप्रीन इज अलास्टोमर्स एसिटेट रेयॉन इज एन एक्साम्पल ऑफ सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर बिकॉज रेयॉन इज अ नैचुरल पॉलिमर्स एंड एसिटेट इज अ chemical reaction modification of that reaction that's why acetate reaction is a semi synthetic polymer nylon is a completely synthetic polymer so answer of this uh, question is a acetate reaction then the atom economy obtained for the green synthesis in the range of is a 70 to 80% percent, 82% When the uh, we calculate the atom economy, जब तुम्हें atom economy calculate करता, तब तो ऐसे जर answer 70 to 82 percent ये तस्वीर तरस की reaction ही economical आए, atom economical. So Green synthesis says that the reaction is a atom economical means 70 to 82 percent yield. Next is a the Ziegler Natta catalyst. It is used for the preparation of लो डेन्सिटी पॉलिथिलीन तो तुम्हारा कैटालिस्ट आणि त्याचा मोनोमर मग आजच्या स्लाईड मध्ये मी सांगितलं होतं त्याप्रमाणे जे तुम्ही पॉलिमर लक्षात ठेवणार आहात एच डी पी असेल एच डी पी ई मीन्स हाय डेन्सिटी पॉलिथिलीन पॉलिमर एल डी पी इज अ लो डेन्सिटी पॉलिथिलीन पॉलिमर सो झिग्लर नाटा कॅटालिस्ट हा लो डेन्सिटी पॉलिथिलीन पॉलिमर प्रिपरेशन करण्यासाठी कॅटालिस्ट म्हणून युज केला जातो सो इट इज अगेन क्वेश्चन ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पॉलिमर केमिस्ट्री हा झिग्लर नट्टा कॅटालिस्ट स्ट्रक्चर झिग्लर नट्टा कॅटालिस्ट त्याचं प्रिपरेशन आणि युज ह्या तीन पॉइंट वरती क्वेश्चन विचारलेले आहेत झिग्लर नट्टा कॅटालिस्ट Next is a nylon two and nylon six. So nylon two and nylon six is obtained by the condensation of polymerizations of the monomers. So it is a semi-synthetic polymers and it is a biodegradable polymers in which glycine and amino capric acid, amino capric acid and glycine here alanine not glycine and amino caproic acid, caproic acid, amino caproic acid. so it is a reactions for the preparation of nylon 2 and nylon 6 tumhala question evdas vicharlela asel nylon 2 and nylon 6 is obtained by the condensation of polymerizations of the monomers the answer of this question glycine and eic amino capro uh, caprio acid amino caproic acid so it is a glycine it is a type of amino acid and it will combine with acid that is amino caproic acid it is a biodegradable polymer and also it is heteropolymer because two different monomers are combined that's why it is a heteropolymers by the condensation reaction so meaning of condensation that is a loss of water condensation reaction means what loss of water here h2 oh and h there is a loss of water molecule when there is a loss of water that reaction is called as condensation reaction so ya varti tumhala asa pan question yeu shakto addition reaction condensation reduction reaction so addition reaction ne konta polymer tayar zala hai condensation ne konta jo magache chart ahe so it is addition condensation and ring opening 
कंडेन्सेशन मध्य अनदर एक्साम्पल का नाइलॉन टू सिक्स नाइलॉन सिक्स इज अ डिफरंट एंड नाइलॉन टू सिक्स इज अ डिफरंट कंडेन्सेशन रिएक्शन दैट इज बैकेलाइट एंड नाइलॉन टू सिक्स रिंग ओपनिंग नाइलॉन सिक्स तो तुम्हारा मेथड पक्षे लगते एडिशन रिएक्शन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ एक टाइप च क्वेश्चन तुम्हें वेग पॉसिबल का पॉलिथिलीन इज ऑप्टेन बाय द एडिशन पॉलिमराइजेशन ऑफ द मोनोमर्स दैट इज एडिपिक एसिड कैप्रोलिन देन न्यूप्रीन एंड इथिलीन सो इथिलीन इज अ करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज द पॉलिमर इज अ पॉलिथिन एंड मोनोमर इज अ इथिलीन so this question is asked that is which of the following is a biodegradable polymer msc 2019 that is nylon to nylon 6 atta tumhala mi sangitla he je nylon to nylon 6 polymer ahe tyavarti don vela same question vicharla hota jo ki it is a biodegradable polymer also its a preparation as a preparation pan vicharle ani biodegradable polymer as a type pan vicharu shakta ani it is a type of hetero hetero polymers and it is a semi synthetic polymer next is the prefix nano comes from nano he prefix kasha varun aala hai so it is a greek word it comes from greek word that is dwar remember nano is a come from come from greek word dwar so hi question ek uh, neat exam la vicharlela hota tumhala jari cet cha questions asle tari pan ha questions lakshat theva the prefix nano comes from greek word meaning dwar then which of the following property of nano material plays significant role in providing more number of reaction site mi tumhala makashi sangitla ja madhe properties of the characteristic features of nano material is a very important slide characteristic features of nano particles or nano material so tya madhe baka color surface area catalytic activity thermal properties mechanical strength and electrical conductivity so important point is surface area if the more is a surface area more is a chemical sites will be provided so tacha varti ha questions vicharla hai tya पॉइंट वी ने कि विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द नैनो मटेरियल प्ले सिग्निफिकंट रोल इन प्रोवाइडिंग द मोर नंबर ऑफ रिएक्शन साइट्स यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी डू नॉट गिव द एनी रिएक्शन साइट्स सो दिस ऑप्शन इज इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी डू नॉट गिव द एनी केमिकल रिएक्शन और साइट्स सो इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी इज ऑप्शन then thermal property thermal properties are sudha and reaction site sa kahi direct uh, relation nahi hai so high surface area and high surface area to volume ratio surface area is more if the surface area of nano particle is more it will be provide the more reaction sites surface area jo jasta asel tar tumhala reaction sites jasta mil so it is uh, the clear answer of that question is high surface area to volume ratio कलर आणि रिएक्शन साइट चा काहीच रिलेशन नाही आहे सो दिस ऑप्शन विल बी फ्रॉम ऑल्सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज हाय सरफेस एरिया टू वॉल्यूम रेशो next the concept of green chemistry was coined by the correct answer of this question you can solve bohn harbor then richard feynman then narut so correct answer is paul t anasthas baka shi tumhi bagitla asel green chemistry cha jeva apan principle start kele teva as tumhala mi sangitla ki tyacha varti questions yehu shokto karan green chemistry ha topic ahe the term green chemistry was invented by the paul anasthas and warner john So remember the this uh, word, this name. That is, these two persons introduced the term that is green chemistry. They introduced the principle of green chemistry, not this term. Term who ni introduced? Kela? That EPA. EPA means 
EPA means Environmental Protection Agency. So USA found the research fund that is a EPA Environmental Protection Agency, which introduced the term that is green chemistry. Whereas the green chemistry is the uh, principle of this green chemistry was designed by the Anastas Paul T. So the correct answer is Paul T. Anastas. Then which of the following step is not involved in soil gel process? So soil gel process madhe jay process ahead. Soil gel technique madhe kai ke nazata. तर जे पॉलिमर्स आहेत नॅनो पार्टिकल्स हे टेक्निक आहे सो नॅनो पार्टिकल मध्ये सोल्जर प्रोसेस येते सो त्यामध्ये तुम्ही सॉलिड आणि सॉलिड इज कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू द जेल जेल लाईक लिक्विड फर्स्ट इट डिझॉल्व इन वॉटर ऑर इथेनॉल टू फॉर्म द जेल जेली सबस्टन्स अँड देन व्हेरियस स्टेप्स आर कॅरीड आउट सच ॲज हायड्रॉलिसिस पॉलिकंडेन्सेशन जिलेशन एजिंग ड्राईंग डेन्सिफिकेशन अँड क्रिस्टलायझेशन So this soldier technique is used for the nanoparticles, preparation of nanoparticles. So here we have the answer to which of the following is not steps of soldier technique. So correct answer is thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition could be not used. So thermal decomposition, thermal decomposition means by using temperature we can decompose the product. That is the thermal decomposition. So, uh, So thermal decomposition is the answer of that soldier process. Soldier process just steps are hit. We have to add hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means addition of addition of water. Hydrolysis means addition of water. Then polycondensation means there is a loss of water molecule. Gelation, we can convert the material into gel. Aging, then drying. dry the product then densification and crystallization last step is a crystallization we can crystal the we can form the crystal that is the crystallization technique so this are uh, this is already a concept that is the term hyamade paul anastas the name is toyko science university professor nario uh, tanguchi in 1974 so a uh, nano chemistry is a nano chemistry that like nano chemistry is invented in 90, 1974 whereas green chemistry is a 1990 so important is nano chemistry remember this then carbon carbon nanotube are these are the some question which are asked on the nano particles green chemistry and nano particles so you can solve this question try to solve this questions you can take a screenshot of this and try to solve i will discuss this uh, answer of this question on next lecture because uh, you can try to solve this question by using this slide ya varti tumhala yacha answer mile rubber red color of some kiwa uh, carbon nanotubes are made up of carbon nanotubes je preparations ahe te silly graphite pasun banle rasto so graphite is a carbon nanotubes are made up of graphite then which of the following is the information is given by the ftir technique ftir means fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so uh, crystal structure that is the answer crystal structure gives the ftir technique gives the idea about crystal structure then identify the addition polymer so addition polymers is a or la polyester means polythene polyester poly then nylon 66 is not addition polymers it is a condensation polymers urea formaldehyde polymers is a, it is made up of urea and formaldehyde so it is not example of urea formaldehyde urea and formaldehyde these are the monomers so answer is or la
then which of the following is an example of semi synthetic polymer so semi synthetic polymer is a acetate rayon mag ashi apan bagitle has question hota hai acetate rayon semi synthetic polymer jo question vicharla hai types of polymer classification of polymers so classification of polymers that is natural polymers synthetic polymers semi synthetic polymers so acetate rayon is an example of semi synthetic polymer natural polymers that is link silk linen and cotton nylon teflon and bakelite is a synthetic polymer semi synthetic means what it can be converted into the natural polymers are chemically modified by using the chemical reactions that's why it uh, this polymer is called as semi synthetic polymer so the example of this acetate rayon next is a dash dash is a network polymer so network polymer bakelite is an also network polymer so bakelite so but this is dusre ek example that is melanin so melanin is a melamine is a network polymer network it form the network so the option of this uh, answer of this question melamine ldp means low density polymer then which of the following is a not example of elastomer so elastomers that is neoprene neoprene is a not example of elastomer हे सगळे क्वेश्चन जे आहेत तुम्हाला ते जो क्लासिफिकेशन पार्ट आहे क्लासिफिकेशन यामध्ये तुम्हाला इथे त्याचं लिनियर पॉलिमर्स दे मे आस्क द क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोविंग इज अ लिनियर पॉलिमर विच ऑफ द फॉलोविंग इज अ ब्रांच चेन पॉलिमर विच ऑफ द फॉलोविंग इज अ क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिमर सो यावरती बेसिकली क्वेश्चन विचारलेले आहेत ब्रांच चेन पॉलिमर्स अँड क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिमर क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिमर्स दॅट इज बॅकेलाइड इज अ क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिमर and branch chain polymer that is low density polythene linear polymer is a pvc means polyvinyl chloride fibers is a nylon 66 so biodegradable polymers non biodegradable polymers biodegradable polymers madhe phbb and also nylon 26 jo adipic acid pasun taiyar zalela ahe adipic acid and glycine non biodegradable polymers that is pvc so tumhala hi specific example particular example tya tya point sathi lakshat thevavi lagti ja madhe tumhala questions vicharle jate so polymer varti basically questions ha monomers varti yau shokto hai monomers manje kay tar polymer cha unit isoprene is a unit of natural rubber natural rubber jo ahe tacha to isoprene pasun banavle jate many isoprene units are combined to form natural rubber so it is a example of natural rubber so isoprene is a monomer of the natural rubber to me the question bagitla ta tumhala lakshat yel which is a monomer of natural rubber the answer is isoprene which is the which is the example monomer of buna s that is styrene and butadiene styrene and butadiene then which of the following is a the monomers of the natural rubbers atta mi tumhala sangitle the monomers of natural rubber has a questions ahet mhanje tumhala tyavarti kutla hi ekhada polymer devu shaktat ani tyacha tumhala monomer identify karta ala pahije so monomer tumhi ek tar he monomer lakshat thevu shaktat kiwa tyacha structure varun monomer find out karu shakta isoprene unit ahe ch2 c double bond ch डॅश सी एच टू दिस इज अ मोनोमर युनिट दॅट इज अ आयसोप्रीन ज्यामध्ये एक डबल बॉन्ड आहे सो त्यावरून तुम्ही 
तिथे तुम्हाला स्ट्रक्चर दिलेली नाहीये फक्त त्याची नावं आहेत त्यामुळे हा जो क्वेश्चन आहे हा बऱ्याच वेळा क्वेश्चन विचारल्यात की मोनोमर फाइंड आउट द मोनोमर सो यू कॅन फाइंड द आन्सर आयडेंटिफाय द मोनोमर तो मोनोमर ऑफ द नॅचरल रबर इज आयसोप्रीन देन द झिगलर मॅटा कॅटालिस्ट इज यूज इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ लो डेन्सिटी पॉलिथिन then teflon is a chemically inert due to presence of teflon then you can you have to remember the structure of teflon basic polymer ahe that is structure tumhala rakshatis thevave lagtil taras tumhi he question solve karu shakta jyamade teflon madhe cf bond ahe see the structure of teflon so it is a structure of teflon This is the structure of Teflon. Here it is a CF bond. CF bond. So Teflon is a chemically inert due to the presence of CF bond. CF means carbon and fluorine bond is there. That's why it is Teflon is a chemically inert. The structure of polymers is a very easy. That is CF two dash CF two. Teflon CF two. F ah hai. Tab unko mere akshar tum shakta. Teflon CF. cf bond is for tetra so tetra fluoroethylene tetra fluoroethylene tetra means there is a four fluorine is there tetra means four four fluorine is there and it is a ethylene units that's why it is tetra fluoroethylene ch2 double bond ch2 that is ethylene and h is replaced by f that is cf2 dash cf2 hence it is tetra fluoroethylene and it is a this teflon it is chemically inert due to presence of cf bond so teflon is a chemically inert due to presence of cf bond cf bond is the correct answer then nylon fibers are synthetic semi synthetic fiber polyamide fiber polyester fiber and cellulose fiber nylon are the polyester fiber it is not semi synthetic it is not it is completely synthetic polymer they are completely synthetic or manufactured in the lab cellulose fiber means natural fibers natural fibers are called as cellulose fiber polyamide there is a no formation there is a no amide it is a polyester fiber then number of carbon atom present in the caprolactam ring that is 6 caprolactam e caprolactam ring तो ई कॅप्रोलॅक्टम रिंगचं तुम्हाला स्ट्रक्चर माहिती पाहिजे त्यावरून तुम्ही त्याचा आन्सर लिहू शकता ई कॅप्रोलॅक्टम रिंग देन टेट्रॅलिन इज अ एक्झाम्पल ऑफ टेट्रॅलिन इज अ पॉलिअमाइड फायबर टेट्रेलिन इज अ पॉलिअमाइड फायबर सो यू कॅन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन बाय युझिंग द स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज दिज आर द इम्पॉर्टंट स्ट्रक्चर दॅट इज टेप्लॉन यामध्ये तुम्ही या स्लाइड मध्ये जर इम्पॉर्टंट काय असेल तर तुम्ही पहिले हे पॉलिमर्सचे टाईप सोर्सेस वरून तुम्ही टाईप लक्षात ठेवू शकता तीन सोर्स वरून टाईप आहेत जो जास्तीत जास्त क्वेश्चन बेटेज कशाला असेल तर या पॉइंट वरती आहे नॅचरल पॉलिमर सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर आणि सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर कुठल्याही एक्झाम साठी पॉलिमर वरती तुम्हाला त्याचा सोर्स माहीत असला पाहिजे त्यावरती जास्त क्वेश्चन विचारलेले आहेत तो नॅचरल पॉलिमर्स कोणते आहे सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर आणि सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर देन स्ट्रक्चर वर स्ट्रक्चर वरती तुम्ही हे लक्षात ठेवू शकता की लिनियर पॉलिमर ब्रांच आणि क्रॉसलिंग सो क्रॉसलिंग वरती जास्त विचारलं आहे बॅकेलाइट इज अ क्रॉसलिंग पॉलिमर अँड मेलॅन आणि जे पॉलिमर्स इम्पॉर्टंट आहेत ऍडिशन कंडेन्सेशन आणि रिंग ओपनिंग रिएक्शन यामध्ये ऍडिशन साठी पॉलिथिन कंडेन्सेशन साठी बॅकेलाइट आणि मेलॅमाइन रिंग ओपनिंग साठी नायलॉन सिक्स सो या पॉलिमर्सच्या टाईप्स वरून 
how the mode of polymerization based on mode of polymerization they can classify so uh, remember this three points that is source based on source tumhara question vicharta na it is not theoretical question so competitive exam sathe tumhala source lakshat thevaycha ahe cellulose nitrate and cellulose these two are the different polymers but cellulose nitrate is a semi synthetic and cellulose is a natural polymer सो या पॉइंट्स वरती तुम्हारा दोन क्वेश्चन दोन टाइप से क्वेश्चन विचारू शकता कि सोर्स वरुण नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इम्पॉर्टंट दैट इज मोनोमर्स यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर द मोनोमर्स ऑफ एनी पॉलिमर कुछ पॉलिमर जो तुम्हारा मोनोमर विचार जर ऑप्शन दिन तो फाइंड आउट करता आजे सो एडिपिक एसिड एंड ग्लाइसिन इज एन मोनोमर ऑफ द नाइलॉन सिक्स सिक्स देन एल डी पी एंड एच डी पी दीज आर दाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिथीन सो एल डी पी मीन्स low density polymer and hdp means high density polymer tyachyamadhe parat type ahet branch polymer ani linear polymer pan tumhi lakshat thevta na polythin cha structure ch2 dash ch2 n number of ethylene units are monomerized Addi addition addition reaction to form the polythin then natural rubber that is isoprene unit then styrene and butadiene that is buna s Nylon six, that is e caprolactam. So we have the questions. But it less than that. I want to particularly e caprolactam, nylon six, nylon six six, LDP, HDP, and natural rubber. Yeah, what is asked the question which are there? So buna S is also important. Buna S, the synthetic polymer, I mean synthetic rubber, sir, who plucked that? Sir, buna S are important. Ah, buna S, that is structure. That is a monomer, styrene, and butadiene. नैचरल रबर मे इम्पॉर्टंट की तुम्हें एक की वर्ड्स तैयार करा ज्यादा नैचरल रबर कि मोनोमर्स तुम्हारा को लगे आइडेंटिफाई पाजे मोनोमर च स्ट्रक्चर कुछ ही विचार नहीं है फिर तुम्हारा नाव महती तो नैचरल रबर सा आइसोप्रीन है ब्यूना एस सा स्टीरिन ब्यूटाडाइन पॉलिथीन सा एल डी पी और एच डी पी देन पॉलिअमाइड्स नाइलॉन सिक्स सिक्स नाइलॉन सिक्स क्वेश्चन विचार बैकेलाइट बैकेलाइट इज अ मोनोमर्स ऑफ दिस बैकेलाइट इज अल एंड फॉर्मल डीआईट सो बैकेलाइट इज अम्पॉर्टंट पॉलिमर विच इज फॉर द क्रॉस लिंक पॉलिमर एंड नेटवर्क पॉलिमर तुम्हें नेटवर्क पॉलिमर मनू शकता क्रॉस लिंक है टाइप जो है तो कंडेन्सेशन सो इट कैन इट इज अ कंडेन्सेशन पॉलिमर बैकेलाइट इज अ कंडेन्सेशन पॉलिमर सो बैकेलाइट इज अ कंडेन्सेशन पॉलिमर Bacalite is a condensation polymer, and Teflon is a CF bond. CF bond is a chemically inert bond. That's why it is a Teflon is a chemically inert. So polymer मतलब है important points आए जहाँ मतलब तुम्ही questions solve करो शक्ता ते फक्त दाव मतलब monomers आणि types. Nano particles मतलब हाँ point important आए that is characteristic features of nano particles surface area and its elect uh, its properties that is thermal thermal properties mechanical state and electrical conductivity also the zero dimension bond and nano materials is a types are classification are he important are nano tubes nano tube is a one dimension so tacha vadi option tumhala which is nano tube is a dash dash dimension 0 1 2 and 3 so option is a one dimension तो हा चार्ट जो है जे टाइप्स दिल तुम्हें लक्षा देवा फ्यूलरिन इज अ जीरो डायमेंशन ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री मध्य एटम इकोनॉमी इज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट प्रिंसिपल एंड दिस फॉर्म्यूला इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट बेसि तुम्हारा दोन क्वेश्चन है एटम इकोनॉमी वरती जे तुम्हें नेक्स्ट लेक्चरला सॉल्व करना आ
ऍटम इकॉनॉमी सो यावरती तुम्हाला फक्त मॉलिक्युलर वेट कॅल्क्युलेट करायचं आहे सी एच थ्री बी आर मिथिलीन ब्रोमाइड प्लस के सी एन त्याचा ऍटॉमिक मास माहिती पाहिजे ऍटॉमिक मास देन इट गिव्हिंग राईस टू सी एच थ्री सी एन प्लस के बी आर आणि सॅलिसिलिक ऍसिड आणि ऍसिड क्लोराइड याच्या स्ट्रक्चर वरून तुम्ही त्याचा प्रॉडक्ट लिहिणार आहात फर्स्ट यू कॅन कम्प्लीट द रिएक्शन सॅलिसिलिक ऍसिड अँड ऍसिड क्लोराइड अँड देन ट्राय टू सॉल्व द ऍटम इकॉनॉमी सो ऍटम इकॉनॉमी फर्स्ट यू कॅन कॅल्क्युलेट द मॉलिक्युलर वेट मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ प्रॉडक्ट दॅट इज इथेनॉइक ऍसिड इज ओनली डिझायर्ड प्रॉडक्ट मिथेनॉल इज ऑल्सो प्रॉडक्ट बट इट इज बाय प्रॉडक्ट ऑर इट इज अ बेस्ट प्रॉडक्ट सो अवर डिझायर प्रॉडक्ट इज अ इफ टू प्रॉडक्ट्स आर फॉर्म देन ओनली द कॅल्क्युलेट द डिझायर्ड प्रॉडक्ट दॅट इज इथेनॉइक ऍसिड देन मिथिल इथेनॉइड and hcl is a reactant so the sum of total reactants total all the reactants and it converted into the products then you can calculate the atomic economy by using that formula If you have any doubt you can ask me or uh, i can share the powerpoint presentation on your group 